So New Jersey's approach is far more protective than a majority of states. In fact, screenings for lead exposure have increased dramatically over the past 20 years, with 20 times more children being tested in 2015. Total in 2015, we tested 206,221 children in New Jersey, compared to just 10,200 children who were tested back in 1998. So we've increased that 20-fold. According to the latest data, 97% of New Jersey's children under the age of six have had at least one blood test for lead in their lifetime. And I want to make something very clear and, again, a point that's been distorted. The primary lead concern in New Jersey has been and remains the outdated lead-based paint and our old housing stocks, not water sources. That's the major problem that we have regarding lead in New Jersey. So as part of the conversation about how we protect children in their homes and deal with the legacy of lead paint, I've said that I have no objection to providing money for lead containment efforts, and I don't. So over the past few weeks, my administration has been hard at work developing recommendations for me on how to best address this issue moving forward. Today, I'm happy to announce an additional $10 million in this year's budget to support an improved lead remediation and containment program uh, for low and moderate income households in New Jersey. 